Hey everybody! <laughs> hey guys! Thank you for joining me. For those of you who are joining me um, for the replay, I want to thank you in advance. Thank you for watching the replay, honey. It means a lot to me. You gotta act like you were here live though. So go ahead and give me some hearts. Go ahead and share this out with your followers. Share this out with any and everybody because it's a simple question. What type of shopper are you? We're gonna talk about a few types of shoppers. But before we jump into all that, before we jump into all that, <laughs> allow me to introduce myself. My name is Cherry. I am, ooh, New Life UC. Thank you for joining me. I am a personal stylist. And I am your new BFF. I am your new style BFF. I'm a personal stylist. I specialize in helping plus size women, thank you for the hearts, and helping plus size women go from frustrated and frumpy to fly and fabulous. I am your gateway to a more fabulous life through the power of style and confidence. I also help corporate women and professional women in professional industries realize that the corporate ladder can be encrusted with diamonds because the corporate life can be the fabulous life. So if you're a plus size woman and you want to look better, you want to feel better, I am your girl. So what type of shopper are you? I'm going to name a few types of shoppers. And if any of these resonates with you, just tell me. Hey, thank you so much for joining me, honey. And as you guys are rolling in, just tell me where you are from. Tell me where you are located if you are new. And thank you so much for inviting your followers. Everybody go out there and give me some love. Come on, give me some hearts. Because we just got, it's just kind of like a, a, a chill scope. It really is. <laughs> It's more of a chill scope. And just to let you guys know, also before we jump into what shopper you are, know that I am now officially back. I'm going to be here every morning, 8.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you for inviting your followers. I'm going to be here 8.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I'm also going to be here 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I had to kind of get my life together. <laughs> Laverne from New Jersey. Hi from New Jersey. I think I um I stayed in New Jersey. Thank you so much. You're the second person to compliment my hair. Thank you so much. So I think someone in the last goat liked my hair too. Hi, how are you? I hope you have had a wonderful day. And I also want you guys to know that I'm going to be here, like I said, 8.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time and 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, bringing you everything from motivation to style tips, all that good stuff. So what type of shopper are you? There are a few types of shoppers. So there's the uh, it's on sale, I gotta grab it type of shopper. And what is that, what is that, what is that shopper? Hey Brenda, thank you for joining me. That shopper is pressured into buying clothes Clothing simply because it's on sale. You have what is what my coach, um, Miss Danielle Whittingham, calls FOMO, fear of missing out. You have that fear of missing out, so you're like, oh my goodness, I kind of think I sort of like it, so I'm just gonna grab it because it's on sale. I don't even know when I'm gonna see something like this again. If you're that type of shopper, it's so it's okay. You can do better, but it's okay. You gotta kind of admit it before it do. Listen, I was going to get to that one. Feel good, shopper. Shop when you feel down. Some retail therapy. Listen, not going to lie. I still indulge from time to time as a feel good shopper. So me being a feel good shopper, sometimes you, you know what that is. Compassion MD, thank you so much for joining me. You know what being a feel good shopper is. It's kind of like, okay, I don't feel so good. I didn't get that promotion or... Oh my goodness, I can't believe how to get away with murder ended like that. Or I can't believe, what's that show everybody's watching? Game of Thrones. Oh my goodness, Game of Thrones. It left me so emotionally distraught. Gotta do some retail therapy. <laughs> you find yourself making those excuses. Yep, until reality hits. And that's the other thing. The savvy shoppers, shopping deals and steals. And so when you shop for deals and steals, you're like, hey, it's on sale or I don't want it unless it's on sale. Think about the value. Is you, Are you getting it on sale or have they hiked up the price? They just released a study stating that, you know, 
usually 40% of all sales are not really sales. They're mark markups so that you, they can clear out inventory. So what you may see um, with that is $50 this week, um, maybe $150 next week, but has 30% off. They're still getting more money than they originally were going to get from you, but they made you think, hey, this is a steal. And even sometimes when something is a regular, they just sell it in the store for a discounted price. So understanding the value of what you buy. So there are so many di different kinds of shoppers and I know um I used to be what was what was that um Oh, I used to be the trendy shopper. I thought, hey, I'm a big girl. I need to be happy that they've been putting out trends in my size. So I need to just go ahead and get some trends while I can. I'll figure out what to do with them later. That's not even really the smartest type of shopping. One, because if I don't like a trend, I'm just buying it because I'm like, hey, at least they gave it to the big girls. <laughs> this is going to set me up for failure every single time. Yes, I, I used to have that feeling all the time. Like, Plus size women, you, usually, you know, we get stuff three or four seasons after everybody else does. I think the only thing that we got first um, was the cold shoulder. Y'all know big girls have been having a cold shoulder since like the 1995. That was our go-to thing. And then Peplum hit and made us forget that we had cold shoulders first before everybody else. Yes, they give us the scraps. And you know how that makes you feel? That makes you feel like you have to settle. That makes you feel like you have to be all these different types of shoppers. <laughs> Exactly. Just because it's in your size doesn't mean it will compliment you. Just because it's in a certain color doesn't mean it's going to compliment you. Just because they have it on sale doesn't mean it's going to compliment you. What does compliment you? Something that is in your style, something that is, that is appropriate for your body type, and you decide what appropriate means to you. But you're also going and feeling out, okay, do I like this? If this wasn't on sale, would I buy it? That's one main thing that has made the difference between me having regret buys and not having regret buys. Yes, signature pieces, classic pieces. I think I might do a, um, a webinar about, you know, uh, staples for the plus size woman because there are some staples that you need to have. Um... And I think if you think about, if this was not on sale, would I buy it? If the answer is no, don't get it. Don't have any more fear of missing out. So you have the savvy shopper. You have the it's on sale shopper. You have the emotional shopper. You have the uh, fear of missing out type of shopper. Yeah. But then you got to think about what type of blazer. Is it tailored? How is it cut? Because everyone has different body types. So if you do have a larger tummy, you probably need a large, a large, longer blazer. You don't need a shorter blazer because if it cuts right there and right where your belly and your waist meet, then that's going to shrink you up and that's going to focus on the area that most women don't want to focus on, which is their tummy. So if you lengthen the uh, blazer, you understand that the eyes are going to go evenly on the silhouette on the body but it's these little things you have to take into consideration and not is it on sale or not um, um am i going to see this trend again and the best type of shopper to be i'm gonna let y'all in on a little secret <laughs> the best shopper to be is a closet shopper now i'm talking about this closet shopper all day where do you find longer blazers glad you asked I know um, Eloqui does have longer blazers. They also have shorter blazers. So if you need a shorter one because you're a more petite woman, um, you can go there. Um, I want to say, what was that other one? You'd be surprised. Actually, Target.com. I have found some long blazers there, too. Um, where else? Mm, Talbots. Look at Talbots. Um, T A L B O T S. That's also something. Um, if you want that, I have a list of 15 websites or so. So if you want that list, go to b i t dot l y slash web stylista. That's b i t dot l y slash w e b stylista s t y l i s t a <laughs> and thank you guys so much for the hearts thank you guys for inviting your followers and sharing this on social media it does mean a lot to me now the best type of shopper to be is the closet shopper who is the closet shopper the closet shopper is the woman who knows she can go to her closet and treat it like it's her own her own uh, salon her own 
boutique because it is custom made custom fit pieces for her hey thank you for joining me on periscope i'm glad you joined me on your first day i'm excited to have you here it's, a, it's your first day so we've never met that's okay allow me to introduce myself my name is cherry i am a personal stylist and thank you for um inviting your followers compassion and I am a personal stylist, I'm a style educator, and I am your new style BFF. I help plus size women feel their absolute best by making them go from frumpy and frustrated to fly and fabulous. I also help corporate women and women in professional industries understand that you can climb that corporate ladder and it can be covered in gems because corporate life can be a fabulous life. So if that is you, welcome. If that is not you, I still have universal truce. Uh, yes, thank you. You, st I still have universal truths that anybody can use. <laughs> hey, boo! Thank you for joining me. I'm so glad that you guys have joined me. Now, being a closet shopper, that means you look at your closet and you use those things. <laughs> corporate done fabulous. That is a that is the thing. But corporate can be done fabulously by being a closet shopper. What is a closet shopper? It's somebody who wakes up every morning and doesn't say, Oh, this is my work clothes section. Oh, this is my after hour section. A closet shopper knows that every piece in her wardrobe has the potential to be used anywhere she goes. Your location does not dictate what you wear. You do. Now, there are venues that some things may be more appropriate than others, but everything can be used if they're combined the right way. And a closet shopper also knows she doesn't need a thousand pieces to have a full wardrobe. Style is about personality and creativity. If you don't have those two things, you can't have style. If you don't know how to describe your style, that's also okay. That's why I am here <laughs> to help you define that. So what I always tell people is think of your personality. If I were to ask your best friend to describe you with three to five um, descriptive words, what would they say? And I always use myself as an example because some people go into I'm the introvert, extrovert, all that. <laughs> They always go into introvert, extrovert. That's not exactly what I'm talking about. So I use myself as an example. I am very bold. I am very simple, straightforward. Um, I'm very simple, straightforward, but I am a little quirky. So everything that I wear reflects that. If you can't look in front of you at your closet and see nothing but clothes that reflect your personality, then you're not a closet shopper. You're some other type of shopper and you have clothes in your closet that may still have tags on it, maybe collecting dust, maybe you haven't worn it in six to eight months. Um, perhaps you can't fit it because you're talking about hey, when I lose weight, the what ifs. So you have a what if part of your wardrobe instead of the what is part of your wardrobe. And so it's always these reasons why there's some things that you don't touch. And so for that reason, you gotta strive more of being a closet shopper so what type of shopper are you are you a closet shopper if you're a closet shopper you know you can take 10 items um yes you know you can take 10 items and create a whole month's worth of clothes i actually show you that i took 10 items and i created over 20 different outfits with just 10 items no um repeats and they all look like different outfits that is the power of my own style because it took my own personality and my own creativity and i made it work so if you are in a corporate setting you can wear mix and match things take in about seven to twelve items and dress yourself for the whole month you know what style is hey atika thank you so much for joining me honey you know exactly what style is. It's your personality. So you always have something to say. You always have something to wear. And the sooner you accept that, hey boo, <laughs> the sooner you accept that, the sooner you can improve, the sooner you can know better, do better, be better, have better. And that is why I do what I do. It's because I want all of you to be closet shoppers. Um, and if you don't know how to be closet shoppers, contact me. I am on social media, Emerald Girl Chronicles. If you have not liked me on Facebook, Come on, what are you doing? You're missing out. 
<laughs> go like me on Facebook at Emerald Girl Chronicles on Facebook. Go like me on Instagram. I'm EG Chronicles. If you are ready to be a closet shopper, go to bit.ly slash closet shopper. bit.ly slash closet shopper. Luana, thank you so much for joining me, honey. I'm just asking people what type of shopper they are. We have the savvy shopper. We have the shopper who has uh, FOMO, like Danielle Wingham always says, fear of missing out. I hope you're doing well tonight, honey. We have um, the insecure shopper who shops according to her insecurities and not according to the natural beauty that she has. We have all types of shoppers. And because we have all types of shoppers, we have all types of definitions for style. But style never changes because style is you the core of who you are never changes situations may happen and your perspective may change but you do not change your personality stays the same pretty much and so I always say describe your personality in three to five words and that is your style if you can't look in your closet and see those same descriptive words when you look at the clothes you are not a closet shopper you're probably somebody who shops according to insecurities and that's okay I'm not accusing you of anything bad I'm just saying hey we can improve because if no one else has told you today, and I'm going to do this in every scope, I will tell you, you are appreciated, you are valued, you are loved. You deserve recognition and validation for the good things not only that you do, but the person that you are. Because you are enough as is, not 20 pounds lighter, not two levels up in the company. Um, <laughs> you shop on the run. And that's what a lot of people do. And then when you think about how many times have you had to go and you you are in a store and you're like, uh, I got an event. I got to get something appropriate for this event. If you are a closet shopper, you stay ready. <laughs> and that's one of my models. Stay ready so you don't have to get ready. If you stay ready, there's no such thing as getting ready. It's just getting gone. Getting gone and going somewhere where you need to be. And that's what I'm about. Being a closet shopper is being ready. Staying ready so you never have to get ready. Thank you guys so much for these hearts. I really do appreciate it. And I appreciate all of you for inviting out your followers and share, sharing this on your social media. I am very, very appreciative. So as I close out, I just want to ask you guys one more time, what type of shopper are you? If you are not a closet shopper, you are doing your body, yourself, your career, your life, and injustice. And people always think that clothes aren't as deep as they are. But I can look into a closet and pretty much tell where you are on your on your uh, <laughs> on the road to self esteem and self love. Uh, somebody actually, I was going to send out an email. Somebody actually called me the closet whisperer. <laughs> it was the funniest thing. She was like. Oh my goodness, you can tell so much about me by just looking at my closet. I was like, yeah, because closets tell up, tell on you a lot. Off the mannequin, we talked about the mannequin shoppers. You see it on the mannequin. Hey, Katrina, thank you so much for joining me. You see it on a mannequin and then you want to pull it off and say, oh, well, that's good enough. You are not just good enough. You are more than enough. Hey, Theron. Hey, Katrina, good evening, honey. Thank you so much for joining me. Thank you, Theron, for joining me. Y'all, if y'all want somebody who can make you laugh and motivate you, Theron is that person. I'm always giggling and having such a fun time with her. So thank you guys for, for joining me. This is our party. And remember, if you have not heard already, I am going to be on 8.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time every day and 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every single night to bring you the best that I have in style, confidence, and self-love. Thank you for sharing this on Twitter there and if you do not know by now let me introduce myself once again my name is Cherry I am a personal stylist I help plus size women go from frustrated and frumpy to fly and fabulous I also help corporate women and women in professional industries know that that climb up that corporate ladder can be as fabulous as you are it can be covered in gems and jewels because the corporate life can be a fabulous life so if you're trying to figure out how 
to have a, a, a more fabulous life. Hey, Dave, thank you for joining me. If you have a more fat, if you want a more fabulous look, if you want a more fabulous life, understand that that takes work and that takes introspection. If you can't describe your style to me in three or to five words, we need, we need to improve that. We need to bump that up. Thank you for inviting your followers on. I do appreciate it. So what type of shopper are you? Thank you for sharing that on Twitter. Understand what type of sh a shopper are you? Yolanda, thank you for joining me. Style, what is that? Good, thank you for asking me that. Style is simply an extension of your personality. It is you saying who you are and what your personality is without actually having to say it. So when I tell people to describe their style, I ask a few things from them. I ask them to describe their personality in three to five words. And if you can describe it in three to five words, all the clothes that you ever wear should be saying that same thing. And if they are not, we kind of need to revamp your style. And that's why I am here. I am here for questions, concerns, to motivate you to do better and be better because you are better. And again, if no one else has told you today, you are loved, you are valued, you are worth not just being just good enough. You are worth being more than enough because you are already more enough as you are. And you need to look at your closet and say the same thing. Is your closet saying, uh, just good enough? Is your cl closet saying, uh, entry level? Is your closet saying, hey, you know, I'm all right. I'm doing good, but I could be doing better. No, your closet should be saying, I am better. <laughs> your closet should be saying, it's about time y'all gave me that promotion. Your closet should be saying, I am expanding in my business. <laughs> No, Dave, it shouldn't be saying lazy bum. You are any, you're, you're nothing like a lazy bum. You're anything but a lazy bum. Definitely not. You can't be named a business bully and be a lazy bum. So understanding how important it is to have your look together, because let's, let's face it, ladies, you are being judged at your job, in your workplace, in your business, wherever you go. And if it doesn't look like you care about you, other people won't either. So you got to understand it's all about knowing the importance of who you are, what you have to offer and showing it before you open your mouth. Your mouth and whatever you say should be confirmation of whatever your confidence in your style have first said. So again, if you don't know what style is, three to five descriptive words about your personality because clothes are just about being personal. That's why if I told everybody in this room right now, show me what a uh, rocker chic outfit would look. I would get completely different outfits from every single one of you. So that does nothing to describe style. That describes an aesthetic that someone else has made, another standard that is made, has been made before you even got here. So that's why style should be so personalized. So if you're shopping off the mannequin, if you're shopping just because it's on sale, if you're shopping because you're a plus size woman and you feel like, hey, Terry, thank you so much for joining me. If you feel like you're a plus size woman and you should just settle for the things that are given to you, if you're that type of shopper, you got to know that you're worth more. And once you realize you're worth more, you're worth, you know you're worth doing more. Hey, <laughs> I don't mean to come for you, Tika. And thank you for inviting your followers, Terry. And if you have not already, go ahead and give me some love. I love the love. I love giving love, but I definitely love getting it. <laughs> So you guys are just making my night because I almost didn't come. I was like, I'm so tired. I'm so exhausted. No, I don't mean to come for you guys. As long as you guys know that you are worth better, you are worth more, you are more than enough. And so you should be doing more than enough to show that. What type of shopper are you? If you are not a closet shopper, I am now located in Tampa, Florida. Thank you for asking. I just moved from Chicago, Illinois. I've been in Florida for about a month. It has been a transition. You can chill in your clothes and they can be, I'm gonna do a whole scope about that. Comfy does not mean frumpy. Comfy does not mean frumpy. You can be comfortable and still be cute. What I'm wearing right now is comfortable. It is a tan shirt. It is a orange skirt. And it is in... <laughs> Dave. Dave, you're a special case. You're a special case. You, you get to be an exception to the rule. <laughs> but for the rest of us mere mortals, <laughs> understanding that you have to redefine what these things mean to you. 
Redefine your own worth. You should not be defined by the things that have happened to you and so you're shopping according to your insecurities. You should not be defined by living on what if. Well, what if I was a little... Uh, Oh, thank you. He's right there. You see Dave is giving you a shout out. You just made his evening. Oh my goodness. I'm never going to hear the end of this. <laughs> but understand, guys, there is something there inside of you worth sharing, worth having, worth appreciating. And the more you value it, the more you will see it reciprocate abundance back to you. So as I've been on here for about 20, 25 minutes. I hope I'm not taking up too much of your time, but just to ask you, what type of shopper are you? And for those of you who are joining me for the first time, allow me to introduce myself again. My name is Cherry. I'm a personal stylist. I help plus size women go from frustrated and frumpy to fly and fabulous. I also help corporate women and women in professional industries feel and look their absolute best because the corporate life can still be the fabulous life. Climbing up that corporate ladder can be done in style. That ladder can be the jewels, it can be pink, it can be whatever you want it to be because it's as special and as specific as you are. So if anybody else have uh, what type of shopper they are, that's what I want to know because I think we've done the savvy shopper, the scared shopper, the insecure shopper, the mannequin shopper, all these, these different things. And as long as you guys know, you should be aiming to be a closet shopper. A closet shopper is a person who knows the quality of the clothes she has, of the clothes that she's looking at every morning are a reflection of her personality. And if that is not you, that is why I'm here. BRT.ly slash closet shopper. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, the little feet. Wait, are those heels? Oh, those are kind of cute heels. I can't. I still can't do stilettos. I still feel like a Christmas ham on toothpicks. Big and can't do it, but I'm working on it. So, so y'all pray my strength in the Lord for some stilettos, but I can't do it yet. I'm working on it. But if that's you, if you're about that stiletto life, embrace it. Do it. Be that. But as for me and mine, we're, it's, a, it's a work in progress. That's all I wanted to share with you guys. If you want to be a closet shopper, just simply go to bit.ly slash closet shopper and learn how you can take the steps to loving the clothes you wear again and never having to guess what am I going to wear today? Yes, walk your way to be a closet shopper. B-I-T dot L-Y slash closet shopper. Thank you for that bit.ly link. Okay, guys, thank you so much for joining me. I'm going to be here each and every morning, 8.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, not Central. I got to get used to saying that. <laughs> and I'm going to be here. Thank you for putting up that bit.ly link, honey. 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, bringing you everything in style, motivation, and self-love. Because, again, you are loved, you are valuable, you are worth it. And understanding that is going to be the key to changing your life for the better. So, <laughs> bye lovelies. Bye.